Hey, what's up, YouTube? Gonna do a quick little don't stare gameplay here. Well, probably not too quick. Hopefully, I can stay alive. Although, if I stay alive for a long time, there'll be like a part two, three, you know, it'll keep going on respectively. Right now, as I showed my last video, I'm just gonna harvest a bit of food. Starting off. Except this time, I'm really gonna show some more information on building your base and where you like to do that. I mean, everyone's gonna be kind of different. Personally, I like being by the buffaloes because they shed all over the place and you can use it to make farms. I mean, you don't want it in the desert. I keep it on the grassy area, but find one close to them. Just sometimes it may take forever to find them. Last game, I don't even think I found them until like day 18 or something crazy like that. Just make sure I get some wood so I can survive here. Now for times like this, I just hold in spacebar. And as long as it's close enough, she'll go to it automatically. In case you were wondering why my cursor's not moving, but this bitch is doing work. Although I'm using a wireless keyboard and sometimes it gets out of range. And last time, one of the main things I do is sleep all the time, but that takes up a lot of hunger, so I'd actually advise against it, especially for these earlier stages. And also, if your food gets really stale, I find it's better to not even eat it and just wait till it rots. And then when you plant berry bushes by your base, then you can use that to fertilize them. Rather than using up all the buffalo shell and stuff like that. I'm just wondering if there might be buffaloes around here somewhere. I can get started right away. about this game is you'd think it'd get kind of repetitive because you have to start over whenever you die but it's so different every time you play it like you learn stuff and then you take that knowledge and it completely changes your next game at least for me anyways they're not here. It's kind of a bummer, but... Huh? Uh, and I just get excited every time I see sand or dirt, I guess. I also need some flint, which I can't seem to find anyways around here. for a split second decision. Should I go in the wormhole? God damn it. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, in case you were wondering, this is the librarian, and she gets her first tech level without having the science machine. I mean, there's other people who probably had better effects, but I figured for this video she'd work best. I haven't actually done anything with Nitro before, so I'm not sure how it works. Also, my last game, there's like a bunch of those pigs that are really aggressive and protect their queen. Which was nice, because I kept getting them to kill the buffaloes and bees so I could get other food and shit without having to kill anything. But then the pigs eventually killed me, so it kind of backfired. Oh, that was stupid. Completely forgot that I switched to the pickaxe. Anyways, I'm not gonna waste my rocks on this little fire. Gotta yeah, listen for that monster it looks to come down each at night time. Perfectly average. Also, for those of you who don't know, after you pass day 20, you start to get cold and shit, and then it really sucks. You can get some saplings. They're nice to have because you need twigs for quite a few different things when you start cooking and harvesting food and also because they don't need to be fertilized or anything some gold though because you don't even want to bother with the basic farms they take way too long you want to get the improved ones which you need the alchemy thing for let me just double check what i need that eight gold all right we could do this Need some grass too. It's funny because in my last video, grass is like all I was harvesting, and now it's kind of not really a concern. Stuff down here. 
Picking up those evil flowers will impact your sanity a bit, so. Let's see, I guess I should make a backpack. Thinking of going down that wormhole shortly, though. Oh yes, graveyards are good because you can just find gold laying around like that quite often. I guess I'll quickly search through. You want to collect gold whenever you can because even after you build the alchemy engine there's things like the uh, lightning rod, the winter meter, stuff like that you're going to want. It's not going to seem important right off the bat but when you get like past day 20 it all comes in handy. Some charcoal, too. I'm sure, Al Gore would be furious right now. This is the only way to get charcoal, unless you find it, of course. I'll have to make a separate video of how to do this, though, because people have been asking me, and then they'll end up not watching this video and be like, why don't you make the video? So, yeah. Maybe you lay a fire like that, you want to run up from it so it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't do a lot of damage, so I don't really care. But... Also, you want to stock up on acorns so you can plant trees around your base when you build it. Just go 
I wait out the night time. Usually I'd skip stuff like this, but people have been asking me to watch it. I actually started when I was playing Dead Island. Well, I get like the full experience, I guess. So that's cool with me. And it's night time. She passed short. almost exactly as much as I need. I guess that's enough charcoal for what I need. You're gonna need some rocks too. A lot of the stuff you make for cooking actually uses rocks, so good to have. And for the farms, after every time you harvest a plant, you're gonna need to plant seeds to get new stuff. So you wanna collect them when you can as well. And down the wormhole. Keep yourself trapped by the wall there. Only run over by it when you have to. Because you're going to want to have as many possible directions as possible to run away when those things start to spur you. Ah, oh, fuck. The irony of me explaining to look out for them and getting hit by one. Usually if you see mushrooms there in the ground and shit, they won't really spawn by those. Gonna run around all this shit going on. Of course, another dead end. And it's even worse when these things are running around when you're trying to avoid these because sometimes they'll get them to start spurting ahead of you and you won't see it yet. Then by the time you get there, they're already out of the ground to get a few good shots on you. I've gotten killed many times by these stupid tentacle things.
Yeah, some carrots. Bitches like carrots. This is enough food. Only one thing I end up picking up now is carrots. I'm just gonna look for the buffaloes. I'm tempted to go down that wormhole. I'll grab some berries and take the worm home. Fucking serious. Whatever. Oh, this is just gonna loop around. Whatever we're going to explore. Tired of wasting time by the fire. Torches last a lot longer when you're not lighting every sound of fire with them. Just once, I'd like to start again and just spawn right beside the buffaloes. I just want some buffalo shit. Just trying to debate which way I should go. I'll go up. Yeah, my last game I made to like day 25 or something. I had so much of it explored. Just looking for my buffalo. Oh, 
Uh, don't just look around again. Okay, cool. A lot of times when the two roads meet, you'll just meet there, so it's a big circle, but it's time it kept going. Little patches like this just piss me off. It's like, oh, never mind. Okay, here we go. Typically for buffaloes to actually be there, it has to be a pretty big patch of like, I call it desert because it's just grass and shit over there, but I don't really know what it is to be honest. Okay. So that big walk has accomplished nothing. These little fuckers are bomb. They put up your health and your hunger so much. And I don't even think they go bad because they're technically material. That's pretty cool. Well, they're out fighting the pigs. I'll get some silk. That's what I love about pigs just out in the woods here. They'll attack anything. for a forest fire. Al Gore is probably shitting his pants somewhere right now. charcoal right now but life gives you wounds. should end this video saying I just don't like having long videos. I wanted to find the buffaloes though, like you get getting sidetracked. This game would be really bad for someone who has ADD. Just saying. Okay, now we're on a trail of somewhere just new. Little fuckers follow me around now. Yes! 
buffalo shit. Finally. Uh, there's only two of them here, but I'll have to do. Alright guys, well I found my buffalo so I'll end this episode. Next episode I'll show you how to build a base. So thanks for watching, see you next episode.